I have decided to use English for this statement. The reason is that some people have translated the incidents that happened a while ago into English and spread them to the English-speaking audience. So I think I may as well save you the trouble and make this video in English. I'm on YouTube anyways. As you guys may know, a couple of days ago, I encountered some controversies. To make a long story short, Apple invited me to participate in the WWDC 2023 event, which required me to get a US visa. So I went to apply for the business visa with an invitation letter from Apple. As a result, I was refused. The visa officer didn't even look at the letter. I was instantly refused after I told him that I studied computer science. So I took a four hour flight back home on the day of visa refusal to hold a routine channel membership live stream. During the live stream, I briefly shared what had happened. One audience from Taiwan suggested that I should switch to a Taiwanese passport in order to, to get the visa easier, which I felt was a huge provocation and insult, leading to a heated and emotional response from me. This incident gained substantial attention and exposure, and many people responded to the so-called outrage on visa refusal. The experience from this event for me is that many people misunderstand what had happened. So today, um, I want to clarify or dispel this unnecessary misconceptions. First, I would like to discuss the reason for losing control of my emotions. Some people think I lost control because my visa got denied. That, however, is not true. As nearly all of my channel members know, I had anticipated this result a week before I went for the visa interview. I even posted on WeChat the day before the interview that I better not go since I would most certainly to be denied. Of the 19 media friends I know who also went for visas, nearly 15 of them got denied. It's very clear that the current China-US relations are not in a very good state. On top of that, I had explained many times in the channel member group why I was almost certain to be denied. I had studied in the US. Um, I am unmarried. I am currently single. If you want to know, uh, I am available. I have no assets under my name. So, from the visa officer's perspective, I have no bind to my home country. Therefore, my immigration intent couldn't be stronger. And most importantly, my major when I was studying the college was computer science, which is one of the most sensitive majors that you can have currently considering the China-US relations. So the chances of being denied were already high even before I went for the interview. You might be wondering, why did I even try if I'm so certain that I won't get it? The reason is that Apple, which is the company I have a very deep feeling with, has invited me. Regardless of whether I could get the visa or not, Attempting to go to its headquarters in the US was the most important things to do. Those people who watched the live stream that day could see that I accepted the denial very calmly, even rationally analyzing the reasons behind the, the refusal, and I even made a few jokes about myself. The real reason that made me angry was the repeated live comments suggesting that you should change to a Taiwanese passport which in my view were very aggressive, very rude, and had a very obvious provocative intention. The relationship between mainland China and Taiwan is some, some, somewhat sensitive, so I'd rather not to talk about it today. However, I stand my ground. There's only one China on this planet, and I am from China. So it is the request for me to change to a Taiwanese passport that triggered my outburst not the denial of the visa. Second, I hope you will join me in maintaining the purity of the channel. In the past three years, I have barely brought up any political topics in my videos. This incident was a pure accident. If there was anything I did wrong in this incident, it was that I should never 
never responded to those provocative comments. This incident has given me a very good lesson or reminder because anyone in media, or generally speaking, as a public figure, will sooner or later encounter similar situation or public events like what I have been through. So, having experienced this, I hope that if my discussion deviates from the right direction in the future, you all can remind me. Third, following this incident, I will take measures to avoid potential negative outcomes in the future. Everyone's Experience, upbringing, background, and cognitions are different. This is why I started this channel in the very first place, is to discuss technological topics only. My intention is to hope that we can agree to disagree, even if people with different views can be attracted to my channel via a common interest, which is the passion to tech. Therefore, if anyone brings up topics I do not want to discuss, I will remind them of the purpose of my channel as much as I could. But if certain topics are discussed too frequently or reminders are ineffective or doesn't seem to be working, I will delete comments or restrict discussions. I hope you understand. Meanwhile, my team and I will be more serious in reviewing comments in the future. You may find some delay in seeing your own comments, as all comments require our manual review and filtering. The purpose is still to maintain the channel's purity on technological topics. Also, I just decided that all future live stream recordings will be no longer available. That is, if you want to interact with me live, please participate in the discussion during the live stream. Future live stream recordings will not be open and will not be discoverable to anyone anymore. Fourth, regarding discussion about my personal temperament and character and personalities, I would like to share what I think. I am a very simple, straightforward person who values efficiency and results. If you judge me to be arrogant and untamed, Based on the attitude of mine, based on my tune or wording, you may be right. I do not deny my pride in my own experience and background. But if you want to discuss or criticize this, I think it's completely unnecessary. We might have different views, personalities, and ways of expression, but I hope we can find common ground and exchange views on technology-related topics. If you can't distinguish a person's character from the valuable information they provide for you, my friendly advice to you is to stop watching my videos and unsubscribe from my channel. We will both be more happy and comfortable that way. My videos convey of some of my understanding, expectations, and judgment about technology as a tech media person, I believe what I share is extremely valuable to many of my audience. However, I am not in the business of entertaining. So my job is not to and never will be to make you happy and comfortable, even though I can try to do so. But that's not the core value I can provide to you. I'm nearly 36 years old this year, and my understanding of the world as well as myself has gradually solidified. If I have any advice for my younger friends, I want to share a few points. First, you can never make everyone like you, so you might as well avoid trying. Attempting to please everyone will only cause you to gradually lose a clear perception of yourself and eventually lose yourself. Second, it's perfectly normal to accept that many people might dislike you as most people don't even like themselves in this world. Third, don't care too much about what others think of you. When people are in their 20s, they tend to, they are too concerned about how others perceive them. In their 40s, most people don't care what others think. When they reach their 60s, they no longer give a damn pretty much to anything. So, our life is a process of gradually ignoring how others see us. Instead of worrying about how others perceive us, 
it's better to clarify why we live. I firmly believe that we live to be ourselves, and being ourselves is the most important thing. Today, I may appear to be a little serious or mad, but the truth is, I'm really not. I'm just simply sharing what I'm thinking. That's all I want to share today. See you guys later.